Hello, it's Jay here. We're here at Fact on Wood Street. Uh, and thanks for checking out this special online edition of The Guide. Uh, now this week marks 10 years since the death of Anthony Walker, a crime that hit everyone in Liverpool and Merseyside. Uh, but on the 1st of August, something special is happening. Something special is happening to commemorate Anthony's death, remember, celebrate his life, uh, and as well get the message out there that hate crime is simply not acceptable. Uh, on this show, we're gonna find out more about this big day happening at McKeldick Park. Uh, and as well, we got music from the amazing Eleanor Nelly. She's got the biggest hair in the world. She's incredible. You don't want to miss it. Let's get inside and find out what's going on. Now, I have got a fact about fact, which I cannot believe. I'm a scouser born and bred, and I've never been to fact. And obviously I hear some amazing things about it. So I wanted to come down and, and find out exactly what happens here and what it's all about. And the lady to tell me is Joan Bennett, who's visitor service manager. That's the one, yes. Will, tell me about fact. I can't believe you haven't been here. I know, start, I can't actually. believe I'm really it. shocked. So we're, we're all things to everybody, really. But what we are, we're the foundation for art and creative technology. And what that means is we're a national organisation based here in Liverpool, promoting um, where artists and technology meet, really. So we're not quite unique, but we're on the way, and we're certainly unique in this part of the country. So the building itself, we've got art galleries that focus on work made using technology. We've got a fantastic cafe called The Garden, and we've got our partners, Picture House, who run an amazing cinema. So we'll talk about the cinema, so that's yeah. Picture House at Fact. Yes. Now they show, you show the big movies, the you know the big mainstream movies, yeah. um, but as well you show a lot of stuff which, which isn't quite mainstream, which is a bit different. You'll find something for everybody here, and I would say that about Fact in general, mm. really, there's, there's a lot going on. The kind of movies we show, everything from absolute mainstream blockbusters to world film, classic film, get into Vintage Sunday, it's got, wonderful. I remember The Goonies was on here oh, one yeah, week and yeah. stuff like that, which is brilliant. <laughs> That's a firm favourite. Yeah. We also do things like Big Scream for parents and babies. Brilliant. So the film's for the parents, but you bring your baby and you can watch the film without having to get a babysitter. No one cares if the baby cries because everyone's got a baby. Can you hear the film? Yeah, yeah. they always go to sleep. It's right. lovely. Fine. It's the nicest Fine. day of the week. Uh, we have Silver Screen for older people who are retired. Come in. Um, get a film at a reduced rate, tea, coffee, big social events. So you're really giving something back to, yeah. to the community here. It's not just yeah. about yeah. about these movies and whatever yeah. else. Tell me about the art side, the exhibition side. There's some fantastic exhibitions well, on too. The reason we're here is for the art that we show. So we work with artists from all over the world, and the idea is to bring the very newest, best work that artists are making. Yeah. Now the kind of technology we show could be anything. It could be digital technology, it could be film, but it could also, in the past, we've had wooden kinetic sculptures, we've had carpet mountains that you lie on and watch a projection on the ceiling. At the moment, uh, and I know my colleague's going to talk you through the exhibition, um, it's very locally based. Uh, some of the works are based here in Liverpool, made in Liverpool. Uh, and we're also opening up something called Fact Lab, which is about um, a process getting more people involved in actually making stuff with new technology. So if you want to come and learn to hack, get in there, break down your everyday technology and make something new out of it, come and come in, this is the time to come Brilliant. and do that. Well, we're gonna go meet someone else now, which I'm excited about, which is just through there, so it's, come with me. It's a pleasure to have come you. Come on. Come on in. Thank you to Joan for uh, for now handing me over to the lovely Leslie. And am I right in saying I'm in, I'm in an art gallery? Is it an art exhibition? What yeah. would you say this area is? So you're at Fact, and we're in Gallery One, which is our main exhibition gallery, where we have most of our main artworks. Um, at the minute, we've got Build Your Own, uh, tools for sharing. So we've got like four big new commissions so in tell here. me what this is, because to my left is, it looks like a, a builder's workshop. Yeah, it pretty much is. So this um, work was made by Will Shannon mm -hmm. and Assemble, who've actually just been nominated for the Turner Prize, like one of the biggest art prizes in the arts wow. world. And See, I know um, the Turner Prize, I know yeah, that one. You, everyone knows the yeah, Turner Prize. It's yeah. like tabloid front page. Yeah. Um, so basically they've been working down in Toxtus um, like in Granby Four Streets and they had a house there and they were building fireplaces using reclaimed materials mm. and with the community groups that were there. See the fireplace over there reminds me of my nan's fireplace. It's a beauty. Yeah, it does, it does. It's all made it's out of like hand polished concrete. Wow. 
hand pressed. Amazing. Amazing. So. so what else does this space get used for? Because we're learning about fact today because I've never okay. been and, and what else what else would it be used for? What's coming up and what would you see here? So we do a lot of new work in this gallery. So as I was saying, like all of these are new commissions. Um, so for every exhibition, fact usually commissions new artwork. We've actually got um, two shows coming up this year, like two new big shows. Um, this one finishes August 31st, and then we open a new one in September. Um, that is by an artist called Shona Illingworth. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have three huge screens in here and have like a sound design environment. Wow. So you feel really immersed in the film. She's like a beautiful filmmaker, award-winning, um, and we're really, really lucky to do this big big project with her. I like the sound of that, so it's going to be a big film and you feel like you're there because of the sound. I've always wanted, yeah. so it's, it's kind of like the IMAX but better. <laughs> yeah, it's like better. the art version of the IMAX. The art version of IMAX. So it's very immersive and the, it, the like kind of story of the film is quite abstract mm. but it's very beautiful. She's quite like poetic as a filmmaker. Brilliant. Do you like working at Fact? I love working at yeah. Fact. I won't work anywhere else. It's a great building it is. and there's tons online as well. But just give us a website again. So it's fact.co.uk and you've got all the listings there for all all of our mostly free events and all of the galleries are free to come to for all the shows. I feel all arty and like cool and stuff now after being here. I'm gonna go and watch a movie as well, so okay, I'll see you soon. Thank you, Leslie. Thanks, so this is a special uh, online piece for the guide and we're here at the box at Fact, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, but we're here for a very special reason. This week marks 10 years, can you believe it, since the death of Anthony Walker. It's a story that hits a lot of people in Liverpool, in Merseyside, and beyond, in fact. Uh, and with me is, is Peter Brennan now from the Anthony Walker yeah. Foundation. How are you, Peter? I'm all right, thanks. Ten, ten years. It's, it's unbelievable. That I was on air at the time at Radio yeah. City, and yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it probably feels a lot longer for the family, mm. for Jane, the family, the Walker family. But yeah, 10 years, you can't believe it's, it's, it's gone so quick. It was a big story in Liverpool. Um, it, it did touch a lot of people. Um, and, and still to this yeah. day, you know, people always remember the name, people remember what happened. But in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion, we have kind of moved on quite positively since then in terms of what we're doing around, around hate crime. And, and you guys at the foundation have got a lot to do with that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, after, almost immediately after Anthony's death, a year later, 2006, and the foundation was set up for charitable status. And um, it was set up to address um, all things around anti-racist work, particularly amongst young people. Um, but it has grown since then. Mm -hmm. And the foundation's gone from strength to strength. Um, we do lots of work in schools. We do lots of work in the communities. We, the foundation goes out to other local authorities, the length and breadth of the country. Um, with presentations, with, with training packs in order for them to deliver in schools, youth centres. Um, we, our own youth defending service in Liverpool has been very um, very much in the in the forefront dealing with um, hate crime and anti-racist work. Are you seeing a difference now? Are you seeing um, the number of people rise who are, who are getting in touch and reporting these type of crimes? Yes, we are. We, we've, we've got the hate crime service at the Anthony Walker Foundation with a dedicated team. Uh, and recently we were, we were given additional funding from mm. the Police and Crime Commissioner to do work around hate crime. So just, just for example, up to March 2014, there were 50 referrals around hate crime. Wow. Come a year on to 2015, uh, March 2015, that, that year, 500 wow. referrals. Just this year alone, from a April to June 2015, We've had 233 referrals. Oh so people so, are feeling more comfortable reporting crimes like yes. this. For anyone that doesn't know, tell us what a hate crime is really briefly, because it, it can be a lot of things, can't it? Well, it can, it can, it, it, it's, a hate crime is obviously a crime committed against somebody because they're different, mm. whether they, they be black, whether they be gay, whether they be disabled. There's a whole host of, um, of, of things that are covered under hate mm. crime, but it's against the law now. It's totally against the law. There's been legislation passed again. And another thing is Merseyside Police, they have a dedicated uh, unit called Sigma, and they deal specifically with hate crime. And it is, fingers crossed, getting stamped out slowly but surely. And you guys are doing a lot to, to sort that, so we, we can't thank you enough for that. 
Um, tell us about the family and, and how G and Dominique and, and how they are at the moment. Ten years on, you obviously see them quite a lot. How, how are they getting on? Well, I, I see them. I see them at, at board meetings. Obviously, there's been a lot of uh, press interest and media interest this week because of of the ten years, mm. and we've got a ten year commemoration coming up on the the first of uh, August. Obviously, it's it's still very raw in the family. Uh, I, I must say that uh, as a family, the the, the very, very remarkable, and she is such a, a loving, mm. beautiful human being. She really is, and you know she speaks with a passion. And there's, I don't know how they're not bitter mm. about it all because I certainly would be. Yeah. It would be hard not to be bitter for, for a member of your family so young to be murdered, not die, mm. but to be murdered in such circumstances. Uh, but the family, they obviously they've put they've put all this sort of the pain and anxiety into doing something positive. Something Hence good. the foundation, yeah. and let's get the message out there mm. that it's not acceptable. Let's try and teach our young people that you know there's room for all of us. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Talking about this positive message, uh, the reason why we're here now is Saturday, first of August. Something very special is happening. Um, to me, it's, it's going to be a, a great occasion. Obviously, it's marking something tragic, but something really positive has come out of this. And, and on the 1st of August, there will be a special festival in McEldrick Park. Uh, yeah. We've got lots of, lots of pop acts from the city on, all yeah. super talented. One of them is on the show in just a second. Uh, but some, some great messages on stage as well. Yeah. Well, first, first of all, there's going to be um, a service of commemoration in... in obviously in, in memory of Anthony in St Gabriel's Church in Highton. So there, there'll be that service and then there's going to be a, a march from the service, from the church to McGoldrick Park, as, mm. you, as you mentioned, where there will be, you know, this quiet contemplation to, or, you know, to think about Anthony. And then a bit later on, it's going to be a bit more jubilant yeah. and there's going to be the bands and the music. Mm. And it's to celebrate, uh, you know, diversity and promote diversity and equality and that's what we want to do. Yeah. So I was just something tragic. We want to get a message mm. across that, come on, let's all, we're all in this together. I think it'll be a lovely day, I really do. And uh, myself and Ellie are going to be hosting the stage on the day. And um, we've got Mike Lowry headlining. Yeah. We've got Shimona, we've got Skylights, we've got Ellen and Nelly, we've got Ego. Um, and the fun starts at, at 12.30 on McKeldrick Park. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah well, and we're looking forward to it. And it's it's... There's going to be a lot of people dipping in and dipping out mm. during the day because obviously there's also the Pride March in Liverpool. Yeah. Um, and so there are people associated with the Pride March and the Michael Causa Foundation mm. that are linked in very much with us um, at, the, at, at the Anthony Walker yeah. Foundation. So they'll be dipping in now. So we'd be up and down between Liverpool and Heighton mm. all day long probably. It's going to be a busy day, but it's, it's, going, it's, to be going, busy, to be, it's going to be, going to be a fantastic. special day. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And what a way to, to remember Anthony. Absolutely. Listen, thank you for chatting. Good luck. I better let you go and plan this, this amazing day we're going to have. Thank you. Uh, Peter from the Anthony Walker Foundation. And right now, uh, just in front of me, she's only 15. She's got the biggest hair on the planet. We rave her about <laughs> it. We rave about her, sorry, on this show. Her name's Ellen and Nelly. Uh, and you will see her on stage on the 1st of August. This is a special song from Ellie Nelly. <laughs> Diary, I'm still awaiting that call from an old friend that it's driven me up the wall. If you need me, darling, or if you need me, you gotta say, Cause I will find where you are. Just give me one more day. Keep running, running, running I won't stop running, running, running Until I find the perfect something The reminds me of your face I remember the last time I heard your voice Now all I'm left with is all this white noise If you need me, darling, or if you need me, you gotta say Cause I will find where you are 
just give me one more day I'll keep running, running, running I won't stop running, running, running Until I find the perfect something The reminds me of your face I'll keep running, running, running I won't stop running, running, running Until I find you, find you, darling And put you back in your place That we meet or the place I go to bleed But now I am left Feeling incomplete The places that we meet Or the place I go to bleed And now I am left Feeling incomplete I'll keep running, running, running I won't stop running, running, running Until I find the perfect something The reminds me of your face so I'll keep running, running, running I won't stop running, running, running Till I find you, find you, darling And put you back in your place Oh, babe Oh, babe Oh, babe Tell you what, you just get better and better every time I see you. Ellen and Nelly on The Guide. Tell us about that song, it was beautiful. Oh, it's a song I wrote about one of my friends who went away and I didn't hear from her again. So, wrote it to like reach out to her. Brilliant, and it's called Dear Diary. Dear Diary. Can we see that online as well? Um, there's not on yet, but it will be on my EP. That's getting released in November. So. Okay, brilliant. Before we talk about this amazing day on the 1st of August, we've got to talk about you because you've just been named the Lymph One to Watch 2015. You're only 15 years old. Yeah. Uh, that's incredible. <laughs> it's boss, isn't it? It's boss, it is boss. It's, it's still not sunk in, yeah. Like, it's all just come at once, and it's, like, amazing. It's really, it's, yeah. There's just so much going on. You're all over, you're in Bido Lito. You were on Juice FM with us. I know. Um, and you're still working on your hair, getting it bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger every time so I see you. So is this right arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, because loads of girls are going to be asking, is that hairspray or is that just natural? How do you do back that? Back home. A back lot of back home, home. Okay. and a lot of snapped hair as well. Well, on the 1st of August, I'm going to back on mine and just try and do the Ellie Nelly style. Let's do it. Ginger. Yeah. That'll be good. That'll yeah. work. Uh, Saturday, 1st of August. Saturday We've just been talking to Peter about it. It's going to be really special, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be boss. It's really good as well, because, like, to remember something so tragic and in a good event, that's mm. the best way to like deal with it and like let everyone know that like you know the hate crime's not okay. It's not okay at all. And we've got a good lineup of musicians. We've got um, Mike Lowry headlining. Um, we got Shimona, your mates. Yeah, Shimona. Uh, we got Skylights. Yeah. We got Ego, a great girl band. Yeah. Taylor Made. Uh, there's just loads on there, and of course Ellie Nelly as well. Yeah, I'll be on there. It's gonna be a boss day, as well as like celebrating Pride as well. It's gonna be amazing to see so many lip relax gathering. It's gonna be so good. And having fun, but getting yeah. a great message out as well. Of course. We'll see you on the first of August. See you on the first. Thank of you. August. For, will you be doing that song as well? Yes, I will. Brill. We look forward to seeing that. Ellen and Nelly on the guide. So Saturday, first of August. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. Please, please get down to McKeldrick Park. It starts at twelve thirty, and it's commemorating ten years since the death of Anthony Walker. But a great message and a great atmosphere down there on McKeldrick Park. We will see you there, and we're back on the guide. We're filming the whole concert live oh for God. Bay TV Liverpool. Uh, so that's gonna be a special one. We'll see you then, take care.